Mangum and Gridley and Rooker have been getting on base lately. You've been thrown into a lot of high leverage at bats over the last couple of weeks. What's your approach going into those? Um, you know, just kind of staying simple. Um, you know, getting good pitches to hit, things like that. Um, you know, batting in the four hole, um, getting a lot of RBI opportunities, uh, giving us you know opportunities to score runs, uh, especially early in the ball game. And um, you know, having those three guys hitting before me like that. Um, you know, great on-base guys. Um, you know, they're they're all capable of hitting doubles, triples, things of that nature, and uh, you know, get, being able to drive runs in. So pretty much, I'm just going up there with uh, you know, free mind, uh, getting my pitch to hit, and just trying to put a, a, as good a swing as I can on it. You haven't been given much of an opportunity to settle into a defensive position much this year, but you've been at left field for a little while now. Are you are you feeling comfortable there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I joke with our coach every now and again, just say, you know, it's like riding a bike. Just got to get back out there and doing it, and. Um, you know, I feel like I've settled in out there. Um, you know, wherever I'm, wherever I'm at, I, I feel comfortable. Um, you know, just that just starts a practice, and uh, you know, getting comfortable. Uh, you know, whether it's fielding, fielding ground balls uh, or taking fly balls off the machine, anything like that. So, um, you know, it, it starts a practice, but you know, once the once the lights turn on, it's, it's just it's pretty easy. It just comes natural to me. You know, that wasn't an easy feeling because Brant played a pretty good left field mm-hmm. too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, no doubt, he he definitely played a really good left field for us, and. Uh, you know, being able to come in there and just, you know, do my job and, you know, help the team make some plays here and there and, uh, you know, get the get the pitchers some uh, extra pitches uh, by making a play or two here and there is uh, is pretty big for us. And, um, you know, it helps, you know, every Friday night with Connor Pilkins on the mound and things like that. And, uh, you know, if we can get him, you know, eight, nine, ten more pitches, maybe that's another inning for him. So, uh, you know, I'm just trying to do my best I can for him and, and for this team. We've talked before about you know, not being a prototypical cleanup kind of hitter there, but the other fact, too, is you and Jake are two left-handers there according to the top of the order. Do you think that's a help for this batting order? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, switching the size of plates on, on the pitchers like that, uh, it kind of it kind of messes with the game plan a little bit, and mm-hmm. especially going back from, uh, you know, left, right, right, mm-hmm. left there, it, it's kind of different uh, on the pitcher. Um, but, you know, I mean, I feel like from a psychological standpoint, it could, you know, have an effect on the pitcher there. And, uh, you know, especially being in the four hole, um, if, especially with one out, all I got to do is pull a ground ball in the four hole and we could possibly score a run. So, uh, you know, there's a, there's an advantage there uh, mentally and physically. So, um, you know, I, I like hitting there and I get a lot of opportunities. So it's pretty cool. Do you think yourself and Gridley ever get some good stuff to see because a pitcher is either in shock or relieved that he got past Brent Rooker? Uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, we kind of – we. Obviously, Brent's going to get you know the best, the guy's best stuff, and uh, you know as he should because he's just having an unreal year. And um, you know to be able to to be challenged like that, if if they want to pitch around him, uh, it's pretty cool if you if you ask me. And I think Gridley feels the same way. Is um, you know it's just I mean we we want to compete as well, and so you know being able to to you know watch him get intentionally walked so they can get to us is pretty cool. Uh, you know it gives us our opportunities. You know and. The more we step up, the more that they're going to let they're going to have to try and get Rooker out because you know we're doing our job and um, you know so so on and so on. But uh, I think it's pretty cool, you know, just being able to get RBIs and things like that and help the team win. You're one of the few guys that's played a lot at College Station out there. I mean, what are you telling the guys the feels like over there? The, the situation, the bubbles, the train, everything. Uh, it's I told them it's you know it's going to be a great um, great atmosphere the entire weekend. Uh, pretty much the the fans are right on top of you. I mean, they're looking in your dugout, they're seeing everything you're doing inside the dugout the entire weekend, and. Uh, you know, they heckle the hell out of you. and I mean, it, get, it gets pretty rowdy down there, but uh, it's pretty fun. You know, it's a really good, great place to play on the road especially. And, uh, you know, it's a really hostile environment. But, you know, going down there and getting, uh, you know, two, three dubs is, is what we're all about. So, um, you know, we played in plenty of hostile environments this, this year so far. And, um, you know, I think we're ready for it. It's been a while since you guys have lost a series and things. Coming off the Auburn series and things, what's kind of been the, the mood and things in practice this week? Uh, just pretty lighthearted, honestly. Um, you know, we've been here before. We got swept opening weekend, and and uh, you know after that, I mean, we we kind of turned it around, obviously. And uh, you know, for us to you know respond like that, I think that everyone you know is, has taken it you know to heart, but not not really letting it eat away at them. And uh, I feel like you know some of the older guys, Josh Love, Lady Brent Rooker, Gridley, uh, myself, even if um, you know talk to the younger guys. I mean, I don't think there's a, a doubt in anyone's mind that we can go out there and you know still win a series. Um, you know, I mean, moving forward, we're still going to be the same team that we've been all year, and um, you know, we're going to we're just looking out there to you know get some dubs.